What is going on YouTube? Trademo James here. We're going to talk about Mavis's price action really quickly in a short video before I get into this. Three things, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and go to twitter.com slash Trademo James and hit that follow button. Look, uh, I'm going to tell you guys straight up, all right? Uh, we're, we're kind of heading down towards the demand zone. We're on a daily time frame, all right? Let's go over this real quick. So we have supply zone, supply zone, demand, 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 all right? Uh, and these are zones I found on the daily time frame. Maybe in the four hour, I think, possibly. Uh, and honestly, guys, I mean, like I said, uh, we're still making higher highs and higher lows. All right, so I'm not too worried about this. On these swings, you can see this yourself, except for this variance right here. And this one, uh, which kind of recovered actually super nicely, uh, we're making higher highs and higher lows, all right? Now, if we find support of this trend line here, uh, where we are right now, basically, somewhere between 325 and, you know, 330. Uh, but... If we do have some variance here, we have, you know, some nice demand here uh, that could happen uh, around these zones. All right. So like I say, you look to the left over here, we have some demand here, some demand here. So that's how I find these zones. And this one goes from about three dollars up to about three fifteen. Uh, the one below that goes from about two dollars and sixty cents up to about two dollars and eighty two cents. If we break that, uh, look into the left. There's not much structure up in here. OK, so I mean, potentially. Uh, potentially, if the market does continue to go down and pull our stock microvision with it, we could see this price. We could see 154 uh, up to about 175. And you know, that would just be to me, honestly, in my opinion, awesome. Uh, I would load the freaking boat because I know that this is going to print in the next bull run. I just know it is. So, uh, and most of you probably know that too. So, like I said, uh, this would probably be a zone that will likely get hit if we just, you know, start making lower lows. Uh, but I'm not convinced that that's going to happen yet. Just considering what's going on in the market uh, and seeing how this has actually been making higher highs and higher lows in this bear market. It's actually kind of crazy. Uh, since over here on January 24th, uh, we've just been consistently making higher highs and higher lows. Now, we've had big swings, obviously, uh, 265 to 590, then 590 down to 250, then 250 up to six dollars, then now six dollars down to 335. So, like I said, uh, you know, these swings are pretty violent and it's pretty volatile. Uh, but this is a swing trader's dream, to be honest. I, I should have just been swing trading this whole thing all along. I knew we were going to get uh, resistance here. I didn't expect this to come down this far. I really didn't. I thought we were going to get a 50% pullback and then just, you know, make a higher high. But, you know, that's kind of speaking from bias. We need confirmations, and I can't just sit here and do that uh, and just predict things like that. I wish I could, but, you know, we need confirmation. So right now, looking at this, uh, we're kind of at the apex of this wedge. All right, we got the, the, the downtrend here. We got the uptrend here. Uh, and we're just kind of waiting to see what price wants to do. If we come down to demand here, uh, we could jump out of this and then break above trend and, you know, make our way up to this supply zone for the for the, you know, for the retest of this zone. If we break that zone, we're probably coming up to this zone. That's just kind of how it works. We always test the next level of structure or supply and demand zones. That's just what happens. I, I It just is what it is. So, like I said, uh, right now we are we are right at the cusp of this trend line. Uh, and I told you guys once we did break back down over this area, uh, we probably would see price come down and test the trend line and make a higher low. Now, like I said, we have these demand zones here. If we jump, cool. If not, I mean, this is just a good opportunity for you to get in DCA down and just hodl for the moon. All right, because it's going to happen. If you've been in this stock as long as I have and as long as my followers have, uh, you already know we're going to run, okay? It's just obvious. There's no question about it. I wish I had, you know, the energy right now to explain why, but I suggest if you don't know why, go over to the Reddit DD and go go over to the Reddit Microvision uh, subreddit and read all the DD on it. All right, it's just going to happen, all right? We have a lot of things coming up. We don't even have an OEM deal yet, which probably is going to happen by the end of the year or Q1 next year, I imagine. And, you know, the, these things are going to happen. And as soon as this bear market is over and they fix the problem, their inflation problem that they created, and they start printing more money to fix the problem, uh, you, you know, uh, the, the, the market, the liquidity is going to come back in and the market's going to move. And there's not any really... Not any real, I just got tongue twisted. There's not anywhere to go but up, really. We could come down, uh, but there's more liquidity on the top side, and there's more money for market makers on the top side moving it back 
up to that nine ten dollar range right and so like i said uh if you can dca down here great if not just hold what you have you know uh i mean selling for a loss is stupid and don't be stupid all right don't be one of those stupid people that sees you know your portfolio down 60 percent and you sell it's like that's the stupidest thing you can do either hold or dca that is in my opinion the only two options uh, I would never sell for a loss in the stock market. I don't care what happens. Uh, you know, I would just hold for 10 years if I had to. I would never sell. And that's just me, and that's because I'm using proper risk management. And if you're using proper risk management, then you're you're not risking more than you're willing to lose. So at that point, if you're not risking more than you're willing to lose, then selling for a loss is stupid, right? So that's kind of how I'm looking at it. And like I said, we are swinging high, swinging low, making higher highs, higher lows. And now that we've been swinging low, uh, since August 4th, all right, which has been about two months now, uh, about two months, uh, we're, we're, we're nearing a point where we're probably going to start making a move to the upside. Now, whether we make a higher high or not, I don't know, but I do think that at, the, at a bare minimum, even, uh, you know, even if we are going to continue going down, this has to, this has to pull back a little bit. It has to come back a little bit. So if I pull my fib here and I want to show you guys this, I didn't, this is not, coincidence okay what i'm about to show you is not a coincidence i this is just the market geometry all right this is the fibonacci tool this is the fibonacci sequence of the market psychology levels psychological levels all right so if i pull my fib from here to here what happens uh what happens the golden zone is literally right lined up with the supply zone uh this zone is going to get tested again no matter what you think this zone uh, is going to get tested again even if we make a lower low it has to pull back and, you know, a little bit here. So like I said, uh, for us to get activated in this golden zone, we need to break out of this trend line, all right, to the top side, either find demand in this demand zone or uh, find demand, you know, off this trend line and break out and get above 392. If we get above 392, that activates this zone right here, all right? And if we get above the 38.2, which is about 431, that is almost going to guarantee you that this is going to get tested. So I feel like at a bare minimum, even if we don't make our way back above this zone and, you know, price does want to continue going down, we're going to get a test of four, you know, 463 to 4, 496 again. It's going to happen. Like even if we did something like this, I'm just going to draw some random lines in here. But even if uh, uh, even if we did this, all right, we came back up. All right. And we tested the zone. And then we rejected and started coming back down to make a lower low down here. We're still testing this area, okay? So price is gonna be back up there. This is a good opportunity to swing trade this thing. This is a good opportunity to get in and scalp your money. Maybe it takes a week, maybe it takes a month, I don't know. But I feel like at some point, we're gonna get a 50% retracement off of this big downtrend. And this is right now where that would take us. So uh, obviously for us to get above this, we need confirmations and we need closes on the daily and the weekly above this zone. Uh, we would really need to close above five dollars for me to feel conf confident that we have potential to make a higher high on this move or at least even come back up here and test supply. So that's kind of where I'm at with, with microvision, guys. Like I'm just holding. I, I'm getting ready to DCA down if we get a little lower, uh, you know, and I'm just I'm waiting. I have liquidity lying around. I am waiting to do it. If we come down to 250, trust your boy Trade Mo James is getting in that thing. I ain't playing no games, man. Like, I'm ready to load it, all right? I, I regret not doing it here. I wish I would have did it over here, but I was being a little biatch. All right, I was being a little biatch. So now I'm not. I'm ready to do it if it comes down there. If not, I'm good with the shares I have, all right? So like I said, DCA down, hold. We already know that the bear market is at least at least 80% over. No market stays down forever. And if you've been through a bear market before, you already know this, like, uh, once there's so much despair, depression, anger, anxiety, fear, uncertainty, doubt, when those things are at an all time high and it seems like the market will never, ever recover and that it's about to break for good and nothing's ever going to get better. That is usually when the bear market ends. And it feels like that's what we're in now. We're at that point where it feels like the market's just never going to recover. Everybody's so beat down. Uh, everything's down 90, 95%. I could go through all the stocks and all the cryptos and show you everything is beat down like that. There's only so much people can take before they start really feeling uh, the heat, you know, but we're already there. We've already been through this. Like we've already, we've already seen microvision go from $28 to 250. How much further can it go down? 
and maybe we can consolidate here. I would I would argue that that's what we're doing now at this point. Uh, we are making higher highs and higher lows, but I would I would argue that we're just ranging here. Okay, we're just ranging until the market ends. I don't think we're gonna see uh 180 but we could i'm not gonna you know knock it out of the realm of possibility uh but as far as the price action goes i don't uh really see a reason to bring price down here there's just uh, all they're gonna do is print more money for retail investors because everyone's gonna buy down here imagine getting microvision at 161 uh back here on october uh, october 3rd or i'm sorry november 3rd 2020 uh, imagine imagine getting your shares here and you know being up here that's a big that's a big win all right so like i said i i think that they're just going to range this thing and you know make their money up and down consolidate this thing in a wide range until the bear market ends that's all I have for you today in this video, all right? That's what I think is going on. That's my plan, DCA, if we come down here, if not, just hodl and uh, wait for this shitty, 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 absolutely shitty bear market to end, all right? If you like my content, you like Mavis, you like stocks, crypto, trading, forex, all that stuff, man, make sure you, number one, hit this like button, number two, hit that subscribe button, and number three, go to twitter.com slash James and hit that follow button. If you guys want to join my Discord team, all right, where I do put out winning plays, not everybody listens, but I've been putting it out there. You can, only, you know, you can lead a horse to water, you can't make a drink, all right? If you want to join the Discord team, send me an email, zonetradinggroup at gmail.com, all right? See you guys on the next video. Peace.